Hi there, Magic Turtle 643 here, your source for Magical Turtle 643 days out of the year, and it's time for the 2013 Project for Awesome. As a lot of you may know, I'm a huge animal lover, so I support animal rights, as everyone should, which is why, again this year, I'm supporting the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. This is normally the part of the video where I would play some Sarah McLachlan music to make you feel really sad about all the animals out there who don't have homes, but I don't have Sarah McLachlan here with me, obviously, so I'll have to create the music myself. This is really sad, so go donate some money. Wow, I suck at making things sound sad. But in all seriousness, there are countless animals out there wandering the streets, no shelter, no food, no water, no safety, and the constant threat of both human cruelty and attack from other animals. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals has been working for over 140 years to end animal suffering, providing education, care, adoption, and rescue. And you can support them today by going to ASPCA.org and becoming a member, donating to help, and becoming one of the people who will rescue the lives of another loving, living organism. This is one of those battles that I feel like should have been over a long time ago, because animals are defending they can't stand up for themselves, they don't have a voice of their own, there is still dog fighting going on, there's still a lot of stigma about pit bulls, people think it's funny to joke about killing cats, there's still tons of neglect and abandonment out there. Even on the small scale, there's lots you can do. If you have a pet, put a microchip in it. Just the other day, my wife and I found a little cute little torty cat sitting outside of our apartment building. It was almost freezing cold out there, but she was just wandering around without a home, so we took her in, took care of her, gave her a name, Cocoa Butter, and then we find out that, oh, it's owned by somebody else in our apartment building. They just didn't collar her or microchip her or keep her inside when it was freezing in the winter. And microchips are an amazing technology. Is there any way to own something more than planting a computer inside its body that says it belongs to you? It's sort of like the computer chip that the government implanted in my brain to keep this statement has been edited by the NSA. I know it's easy to forget about animals because they're not human, they're not sentient, they don't technically have conscious thought, but just imagine your whole world, everything you know, is being chained inside of a doghouse with no food and water until you starve. That's it. That's your entire existence. Everything that has ever happened in your known universe is starving and dying. But you can prevent that just by donating some money. You can save that creature's life and give it an entire existence of love, nourishment, fun, play, cuddles, everything that it needs for the rest of its life. And you can give that to a human who has a companion for the next 10 decades. 10 decades? I don't think they live quite that long. 10 years, let's try. And you should spay and neuter your pets, which is sadly more important. And I say sadly because you know a problem has gotten bad whenever one of the solutions is trying to keep those things from existing. Like, there are too many of them. They don't have good enough lives, so we have to keep them from living so that their lives can be better. The ones that do exist can be happier. That's a little depressing, but that's the reality. This charity video is getting a little existential, I realize that, but I guess I'm a philosopher at heart. <laughs> Not really. I think it was the great philosopher Rene Descartes who said, donate to ASPCA.org or God won't exist. And that's the amazing thing about this charity is that you don't have to donate, you can just adopt an animal. And it's not just doing good, you also get an animal. You get some sweet creature like Brody who will spend the rest of his life with you, loving you, and kissing on you, and purring. Uh, I just woke him up from a nap. But he doesn't mind, because he likes to support animal rights, doesn't he? No? Did you say no? You're saying things you don't really mean. We rescued him from the... We rescued him from the Humane Society. Completely free. He was already had all of his shots, he was already microchipped, and he was ready to love us. But he Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the Project for Awesome, and if you don't want to donate to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, you can go to Project for Awesome to find many other charities you might want to support, and you can vote for the one you think deserves a chunk of the total earnings of this year's Project for Awesome. Okay, I'm going to try one more time to get the sad music right. That's more like it. Although I don't want to end this video on a low note, so...